Hello, thanks for visiting and um, taking the time to um, check this video out. I am going to very briefly go over the um, steps I've taken to um, get this 3D modeled cartouche um, to a point where I can um, cut it on the CNC machine. So the software that I've used primarily is 3ds Max as kind of the homing base, you know, kind of the home where I know it's things are going to be scaled correctly there, and um, and this is 3ds Max here. So um, I start here and I imported the uh, an image of a cartouche, not necessarily what I want to make, just something to kind of look at you know, out of the corner of my eye, basically, to get a, an idea of scale and proportions and, you know, shapes that they're using. And then all the grid of pieces over here are, um, it's a it's a collection of um, pol low poly models that I found on ArtStation. I'll put a link in the description if anyone's interested in this. And, um, what I did with this then was basically I created a composite of the the different pieces. I take individual pieces, I copy it from my sample palette there and um, drag it to where I want, see what looks good, play around with it, move it up, move it back, scale it, rotate it. Um, pretty, pretty basic stuff. Um, this doesn't even touch the this doesn't even dig deep into the power of this software, um, but it it is a um, very quick and, and, and easy way to do this. So right here, it's um, the resolution. If you've ever wondered what a smooth 3D model looks like um, in kind of wireframe mode, um, that's what I'm doing this here for. So this is very smooth, very high resolution and you can see how you can see how um, dense it is and how um, sparse it is there so i build it up in 3ds max get all my pieces together then i take it over to zbrush and the reason i do that is zbrush is is um very good at creating booleans which is um basically welding different pieces together so there's probably i don't know 10 different pieces in this model and Z zbrush here which is a modeling program is um base basically well there's nothing really basic about it to tell you the truth it's it's pretty powerful um and this is what i'm doing here is 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 nothing compared to what some of the wizards um, out there are doing with this. All I'm doing is just nudging things, moving things now, um, taking the model that I built in solid or in um, 3ds Max, and um, adding a little bit of height variation. I tried to carve this one time already, and it was too flat. You know, you can see the 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 top of the shell like um, piece there. It was lower than the um, the center medallion. You know, and adding a little right here. I'm just cutting in and adding a little bit more definition. Um, things that kind of disappeared when I carved it the first time. So this is ZBrush. This is a very powerful program. I'm not doing it any service. I'm not doing any service by what I'm doing here. This is just something I've been using a lot for some other projects. I, I know it's quick and it's easy. And I mean, quick and easy, relatively easy once you know where things are. But I know that this, this could do this fairly quickly. But, you know, like I said, this was, I use this primarily to um, create the Booleans and to create one big solid chunk of um, carvable surface rather than having a bunch of smaller parts um, so we take it here and then once I get it where I like it here I take it back into 3ds max because 
the 3ds max i'm using is my um kind of the home base when i i'm using it as a um a um i know that the scaling in this is correct i have some um discrepancies between the several different programs I'm using and I haven't taken the time to figure out the exact you know get everything on the same scale some of them are millimeters some of them are y-axis up some of them are z I'm sure there's a way to do it I haven't got there yet if I get there I maybe I'll make a video about it but for now this is how I do it I set something set something up that I know the scale is accurate and um, then I scale to it. And this to, this is going to be what it's going to be. It doesn't. I don't have to hit any specific criteria. I don't have to hit any dimensions. So what I make here and what I export to the CAM program, which is Aspire, is, is going to be just fine. So here I brought that model from 3ds Max now to be uh, or to be um, to assign a toolpath to it. So. What you see here is the model in the chunk of wood I'm using. I'm going to be using Poplar, and I set that up in in this software right now. It's you know so you're you're removing material. You're not adding material like 3D printing. You're removing material. So I'm cutting this with a half half inch um, end mill, We're just roughing it out, hogging out material, getting stuff out. Then you set up your tool path with I think this one I used a. This is a simulation right now of a quarter inch um, ball nose bit. And um, what is it? It's, pro it's probably like a three and a half an hour, three and a half hour process. And that was a little, um, it was a little rough around the, um, the edges there. So I um, bumped it up and uh, tried it with an eighth inch bit. So what I found, and this is interesting here, I, I should stop this and do it, but the way that they're creating height, um, depth, is with a, a, a Z-depth mat. So everything dark is further away from the camera, everything light is closer. Maybe I'll do something about that later. It's really cool stuff. So here, what I found was my, um, the bottom of my router call it was bottoming out. So I'm creating a, uh, I think I'm making a half inch deep clearance around the outside of the profile so that I'm sure that my call it will um, clear and <clears throat> go back and pick the line. Once all that's done, I can then cut around the outside of this with a quarter inch uh, end mill. And that's pretty much it. Um, We'll see how it goes. I'll um, I'll see about um, following up with this. See see what interest there is on um, on this sort of thing. So thanks a lot. Appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch.